So we're about to start the construction of our comet for this set. There's three basic materials. There's a wire frame that we're working on right now. There's some small LED lights, and then there's a, a mylar, like a fluorescent wrap that we're gonna put on this. Super simple construction. You can download supply lists and instructions free at group.com slash VBS tools. The whole comet will be suspended by fishing line from the ceiling or however is convenient for you. But it is an amazingly easy construction. Creating the body of the comet, we doubled up the wire strips and twisted them together for more stability. To secure the top and bottom strips, we attached separate pieces of wire with zip ties perpendicular to the tail, kind of resembling a ladder. So we've created the head of the comet out of two simple rings of wire. Okay, we attached them at the top and the bottom to help give it a little shape. And then we're gonna use the same zip ties to attach it to the tail. Okay, super easy. So I already did one of these. I'm gonna tighten it up. I'll get it a little bit tight, sort of position it. I kinda want it coming out of the middle of the comet head. I'll tighten that up. Use it. You can use a couple, you can use however many you need. It's as simple as that. And we're gonna wind up stuffing all of the lights and the iridescent wrap in here, and then we'll shape this, but that will come in a minute. Our next step was to attach our fairy lights. We started by securing the battery pack at the head with a few more zip ties. Then with some simple scotch tape, we secured the light strand down the tail of the comet. Now, onto the iridescent wrap. First, we crumpled it up along with the end of one of the fairy lights and then stuffed it into the head of the comet. After that, we wrapped the entire comet from head to tail, securing it along the way with a bit more tape. As a final step, we attached a few loose pieces of the wrap to the base of the head in order to flare it out and give it more dimension. Don't forget to leave access to the battery packs so you can turn the lights on and off. And that's it. Be sure to watch the final assembly video to see how our set turned out.